Hey everyone, so here's the final part of the three-part series. We're going to take a look at CCTV lenses on a Micro Four Thirds camera and see how they work together. Now we're looking at the Sensonic 50mm f1.4 CCTV Ascenda lens. It's about the same size as the 35mm lens we saw in the previous video. This one is advertised as an f1.4, it is a C-mount lens, and it does have a filter size of 34mm. The lens is made out of metal, and it is a full manual lens, so you do have control for both focus and aperture. There's no image stabilization, so you'll need to use either a steady hand, a camera body with in-body stabilization, a stabilizer, or a tripod. Mine came out to about $25, and the price usually floats at around this mark. Links will be in the description for the lens and the mount needed to mount this lens onto the body. Unlike the other two videos, I won't be showing you a separate segment where it shows real life examples, and I'll get to that in just a moment, but first we'll see how this lens compares to the 12-60mm to kit lens from the Panasonic G85. I've set the length of the kit lens to 50mm to match the CCTV lens. The camera is at about 4 feet from the edge of the shelf, and I did use the Plimzo line on the camera body to measure the distance. Instead of going up to Santa Fe for real world examples, we went to Old Town Albuquerque to shoot some footage. The weather is warming up and it is nice to get out more. The following footage will not be cropped to a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. This way you're able to see how the lens does capture the full image onto your camera and at the same time it will help me show you what I find in terms of its flaws. We are shooting with the Panasonic G85 camera at 4K resolution. 24 frames a second, and the shutter is set to 50. The profile that we're using is Cine D. All shots are handheld, and we are using the in body image stabilization. I will refrain from color correcting or adjusting any of the footage as well, so that way you can see pretty much what I saw through the camera. Overall, this lens does provide a decent image. Now, the center and for most of the image, it is pretty sharp. It does begin to blur out a little bit on the outer edges, but that's kind of expected for this type of lens. At the very far edges, you may notice some stretching as well. Now I'm not sure if this will be noticeable once I upload it to YouTube. Now since the focal length is narrower than the 35 or 25mm lens, it does require more of a steady hand. Even with the in-body stabilization, I found that the footage wasn't as smooth as it was with the prior two lenses. Now this isn't an issue if you're using a tripod. Now let's discuss the major downside. There's no infinity focus. To stay as sharp as possible, I have to be no more than about 6 to 8 feet from the subject. Anything from that point and closer, your image will be pretty sharp. Anything beyond that may be a bit blurry. Let me show you an example of what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and turn the focus ring to its limit. So you'll see that even though I did turn the focus ring all the way to one end, it's still not as sharp and no matter what I can do, I can never get this in focus. Now for some people, this may not be a real issue. Uh, for me, I'm not too bothered by it since I want to stick to using a wider angle lens for these types of shots. The 50mm isn't really something that I would use for landscape recording. Now let's go and show you an example of its bokeh capabilities. And this is one thing I wished I would have shown you with the other two lenses. In conclusion, the 50mm CCTV lens is okay. The price won't break the bank, it's fairly small like the 35mm lens, and it does have a full metal body construction. It's good for medium close-up to close-up shots, but that's basically it. Now if I had to rate the three CCTV lenses, I would rank the 35mm as my top lens. I feel like it's having a good balance between the 25 and the 50mm lens. And of course it would be since it falls right in the middle. The 25mm would come in second. It does provide nice wider shots, and on a higher stop, it can provide a nicer, sharper image for most of what's in frame. But I did mention in the first video that there is an issue with vignetting around the corners of the frame. You can certainly crop your image, and it would help get rid of that. The 50mm would come in third. It's good to have, but you can certainly get away with just having one or both of the other ones. I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos showing how the CCTV lenses work on a Micro Four Thirds camera. I had a lot of fun making them and I have learned a lot. By no means am I a professional and I'm still learning as I go. I do hope to share my experiences with you and I do want to make more videos like these. Stay tuned. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care and have a great day.